Hi, my name is Xiao Bingxuan, and I'm from Carnegie Mellon University. Today, I'm glad to share a work regarding neurological prognostication for cardiac arrest patients. This is a joint work with Jonathan Elmer and George Chen. Cardiac arrest is one of the leading causes of death and disability worldwide. In this work, we focus on cardiac arrest patients who enter a coma and are admitted to ICU, where they are placed on life-sustaining therapies. For those patients, three types of events could happen to them. First, they could awake from the coma. Second, their physicians may decide to withdraw their life-sustaining therapy, and as a result, they die. Third, they could still die even with the utmost medical support. Here, one of the most crucial decisions a physician make is whether to withdraw the life-sustaining therapy or not. So as you can imagine, forecasting the neurological outcome for those patients is very important to help make such a decision. And there are possibilities that some patients may have survived if different decisions have been made to them. However, there are several limitations with existing work. First, none of them is dynamic, and they require the time series data to be a fixed window or of the same length for different patients. Second, there are issues with the common classification setup where people will have to exclude those patients who were withdrawing from life-sustaining therapies as it was hard to say what their true outcome would have been. Survival analysis can overcome such limitations of the classification setup, and there are studies that use it for the single event of awakening, but still, it was not dynamic. So to address these limitations, we have this work. To sum up, we propose a dynamic survival analysis framework where we observe patients' time series data up onto any particular time t and then make predictions for any future duration delta, color in red on the slide. This framework is dynamic in the way that both t and delta are not fixed. As we observe more medical data, t goes up naturally. And then at test time, both t and delta could be different depending on the patients and depending on the interest of prediction without any model retraining. Using this framework, we could simultaneously model the probability of three competing events happening over time, and the events are the awake, awakening, withdrawal from life-sustaining therapy, and death without withdrawal. We believe that this is a more useful and more realistic setup for this problem. We run experiments on a real dataset of over 900 patients by comparing three existing dynamic survival analysis models. Our ablation study shows that the three competing events set up provided more information without sacrificing accuracy. We further develop a heat map showing the probability of awakening over time that can capture the trend and changes in patients' medical signals as shown in the graph. We have more details in the paper if you are interested. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to any comments.